Hello, hello, and welcome to my corner of the internet. Um, I'd be Mandy. I should know how to pronounce that because I heard it a bunch of times because I've seen this guy clips of him a bunch of times. John, I'm going to go with Mulaney. But I don't feel like that's right. But I don't know, whatever. This guy, this guy. Um, Back to the Future is very weird. A just for laughs thing. I strategically skipped over the little just for laughs logo they put because it is so freaking loud. I almost died. So I'm doing y'all a favor starting at four. So he just hopped on stage just kind of abruptly. But anyway. Damn it, that never works. Oh, hi. My email got hacked a few weeks ago, but it was kind of cool. It was that, it was the thing where they hack into your email. Has this happened? They hack in and then they send like a weird spam link to everyone in your address book. So I basically sent a spam link to everyone I know, which was kind of nice because I don't keep in touch with people. So that's my bit for the year. That is my Christmas card as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and then everyone wrote back to me to tell me I'd been hacked. So I heard from everybody. It was nice. It was like I had a baby or something. <laughs> Email viruses bring people together in amazing ways. Right. One guy I know emailed me and he said, uh, hey, I clicked on the link you sent. I don't want to buy any herbal Viagra. And he wasn't being funny. I've known him for 17 years. He's not a funny person. He's an idiot. So what I liked about that was a few things. One, he clicked on the link. <laughs> Who the hell still clicks on the link? when you get the spam link. And this, by the way, this was the ugliest internet link I've ever seen in my life. It had like dollar signs and swastikas in it. It looked like a virus. I don't mean an internet virus. I mean, it looked like if HPV was a website written out. He got that uh, in a blank email and he went, okay, and he clicked on it. He was intrigued. And then he is taken to a website that sells something called Herbal Viagra. And his first thought, is that I am now selling herbal Viagra. <laughs> but do you know what kind of offended me? It was that he thought that that's how I would sell herbal Viagra, <laughs> that I would be that piss poor of a salesman, that I would just put a link in a blank email with the subject line, check this out, which I've never said before in my life. And then in the two column, I'd write everybody, and I'd go, ah, this speaks for itself. If I was going to email everyone I've ever met about a very shaky new business I was involved in, I would write a long, like, introduction letter before I got to the link. I would be like, dear friends and family, comedy did not work out. <laughs> also, have you ever wanted to try Viagra, but you fear the side effects of the non-herbal kind? Well, me and my Cayman Island business partners have the solution for you. Just click on the swastika below. And in seconds, you'll be taken to the world's ugliest website. I hope you can read pink on purple. <laughs> oh, God. As that is the layout we have chosen. <laughs> Hi. Right. That was cute. Thank you. I didn't pause for that, but that's nice. I paused for that, that's why I paused. I turned 30 recently. I watch movies very differently. Because you understand, for years and years, I was a child. And right? when I would watch an action movie, I would identify with the action hero who's trying to help. How on earth is this happening to me? I'm turning 30 tomorrow. Technically in about 40 minutes. And these last 10 days, almost everything I've watched, all kinds of shows, all kinds of, it's always everybody's birthday. And if they specify how old they're turning, it's usually 30. How, what? Is this a sign from the universe? Like what? What's happening? <laughs> if it is, what's the message? Like universe, what do you mean? That it's okay that he's doing good at 30 or all the other people, the characters I saw. I just, I don't, I don't know. But something, something.
help people. Now when Wait, I watch who, an action what, what? movie, I would identify with the action hero who's trying to help people. Now when I watch an action movie, I only identify with like the side characters who are off in the corner rolling their eyes. You know, the ones that are like, Spider-Man, like those types. <laughs> That's how I'd feel if I heard about a Spider-Man. You know who's my favorite? You know who's my favorite action hero when I was a kid was uh, Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly in Back to the Future. That was me. He was my hero. I loved Marty McFly. He's great, right? I wanted to be like him in every way. Action. I watched that movie again recently. Marty McFly is a 17-year-old high school student whose best friend is a disgraced nuclear physicist. <laughs> and I shit you not, they never explain how they became friends. And we were all fine with it. We never even asked, you know, that we were just like, mm, who's his best friend? A disgraced nuclear physicist? Okay, yeah, proceed, yeah. It no, no, happen. just good, proceed with the movie. I know Back to the Future is a great movie and a hit movie. It's a very weird movie. I just watched it again. It has a lot of weird things in it. Two guys had to go in and sell that movie. Two guys had to go into a movie studio and be like, okay, so we have an idea for the next huge family action movie. And it's about a guy named Marty, and he's a, he's a high school student, Marty. and he's very lazy. He's always sleeping late. And they were like, okay, okay, is he, is he cool like Ferris Bueller? No. <laughs> but he has a best friend, yeah. you know, who's a, you know, a disgraced <laughs> nuclear physicist. I'm sorry, I'm confused. This is, this is another student or, oh, no, 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 no. This other guy is either like 40 or 80. Even, <laughs> even we don't know how old he's supposed to be. Anyway, so one, so one day, the boy and the scientist, they build a time machine, whoa. Okay, okay, I think I see where this is going now. Let me guess. As he's saying it, I'm getting like visions of Rick and Morty. <laughs> similarities here <laughs> never really thought about it before but as soon as he said marty i was like morty <laughs> okay okay they, they build a time machine and they go back in time and they stop the kennedy assassination ah oh, no no yeah that's a really good idea no yeah we didn't even think of that okay well what do they do with the time machine well, now I'm embarrassed to say. <laughs> oh, no, all right, all right, here goes nothing. We thought, we thought, you know, that it would be fun for people if the boy, you know, he went back in time and he, he tried to fuck his mom. <laughs> we just, we thought that that would be fun. And then, oh yeah, no, but, no, but don't worry, he doesn't, he doesn't get to fuck the mom because this family friend named Biff shows up and he tries to rape the mom, you know, in front of the son. And then the dad, he has to beat the rapist off of her. And we're also going to say that a white man wrote Johnny Be Good, so we're going to take that away from them. <laughs> well, this sounds like a fantastic movie. I, I knew, I, I know Back to the Future is messed up, but I, I guess it's been a while since I've seen it. I didn't remember the whole Biff thing. Okay, I thought it was just the... Also, I thought it was more about his mom trying to get with him than him with his mom because he knows it's his mom. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen it in a while. But it's all kinds of messed up. Uh, any way you remember it, it's still messed up. <laughs> we are definitely going to make this. Now, you say that they go to the past. Do you want to call it back to the past? No, no, no. Back to the future. Right, but they go to the past. But then they go back. Yeah. To <laughs> Good night, Montreal. Thanks for your time, everybody. You've been wonderful. Thank you. This guy... Whoa. That guy is not happy at all. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, hold on, because that's distracting. There we go. <laughs> um, this guy has some very funny moments. I've seen, I've seen several... Maybe not full sets, but several clips of him. And I always... Usually, most of them I find enjoyable. So... I like his delivery. It's interesting. Um, so there you go. I kind of don't want to watch Back to the Future anymore. <laughs>
it's it's kind of been on my list of stuff i like rewatching movies from the 90s and stuff you know reminiscing on simpler times and nostalgia and blah 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 but no, i don't think i want to see that one no more <laughs> um so yeah anyway Ta-da! so thank you for watching you're awesome <laughs>